In this video, we are going to study how to determine gel point in step polymerization using Carothers equation. Determine the gel point or extent of reaction at which gelation occurs using Carothers equation for the various ratios of reactants below. Stoichiometric amounts of thalic anhydride and glycerol. Thalic anhydride and glycerol in the ratio 1.5 is to 0 0.95. Thalic anhydride, glycerol and ethylene glycol in the ratio 1.5 is to 0 0.8 is to 0 0.15 and thalic anhydride glycerol and ethylene glycol in the ratio 1.5 is to 0 0.5 is to 0 0.8. What is the effect of non-stoichiometric quantities of functional groups on the gel point? We start off by first writing the structures of thalic anhydride and glycerol. Thalic anhydride is an anhydride of thalic acid and it has two carboxyl groups. Glycerol has three hydroxy groups. So let's find out the stoichiometric ratios of thalic anhydride and glycerol. We need 3 moles of thalic anhydride uh, to give 3 times 2, 6 carboxylic acid to match 2 moles of glycerol to give 2, two times 3, 6 moles of hydroxy. So the stoichiometric ratio of thalic anhydride to glycerol is 3 is to 2. Now let's calculate the F average. Average function groups is 3 times 2 of, of, of thalic anhydride plus three ti 2 times 3 of glycerol divided by the total number of molecules. This divided by 3 plus 2, which is, which is the total number of molecules. And we get that equal to 12 over 5. Which is 2.4. Now from Carothers equation, PC is equal to 2 over F average. So that's 2 over 2.4, which is... 0 0.833. So this is the PC value for stoichiometric ratios of thalic anhydride and glycerol. Now next part B. The ratio of thalic anhydride to glycerol is 1.5 to 0 0.95. Now let's calculate the total number of functional groups. We have two carboxylic acid groups in thalic anhydride, so 1.5 times 2 is 3.0. And we have three hydroxy groups in glycerol, so 0 0.95 times 3, which is equal to 2.84. Okay, so 3.0 is greater than 2.85. So thalic anhydride is in excess and glycerol is the deficient um, molecule. We have to find F average and F average is defined as twice sigma of NiFi for the deficient mo functional group divided by total number of molecules. So which is twice of 2.85 in this case. divided by 1.5 plus 0 0.95 which is 5.7 over 2.45 and so the F average is 2.327 now plugging this into the Carothers equation we get 2 over 2.327 which is 0. 8595. So note that when, when the ratio is non-stoichiometric, the value of PC is higher than that for stoichiometric ratio of 0 
Now part C, we have talic anhydride glycerol and ethylene glycol in the ratios 1.5, 0.8 and 0.15. Let's again calculate the total functional groups. Two carboxylic acid groups for phthalic anhydride, so 1.5 times 2 is 3.0. 3 hydroxyl groups for glycerol, so 3 times 0 0.8 is 2.4. And 2 hydroxyl groups for ethylene, so 0 0.15 times 2 is 0 0.3. So the total number of hydroxyl groups is 2.4 plus 0 0.3, which is 2.7, which is less than the amount of carboxyl acid groups, which is 3.0. So the hydroxyl group is in, de is in deficient and the carboxylic acid group is in excess. So while finding F average, we are going to use the hydroxyl group. So F average is 2 times sigma Ni Fi of the deficient functional group over total number of molecules. So this is going to be 2 times 2.7 divided by... One point five plus zero point eight plus zero point one five. That gives us five point four over two point four five. So F average is equal to 2.2041 and plugging this into PC equals 2 over F average we get 2 over 2.2041 which is 0 0.9074. Okay. So you can see how PC is again higher for non-stoichiometric than for the stoichiometric value of 0 0.833. Okay, part D, we have thalic anhydride glycerol and ethylene glycol in the ratio 1.5 is to 0 0.5 is to 0 0.8. So let's again calculate the total functional groups. Thalic anhydride is going to be 1.5 times 2 carboxylic acid groups, which is 3.0. Glycerol is going to be 0 0.5 times 3 hydroxyl groups, which is 1.5. And ethylene glycol is 0 0.8 times 2, which is 1.6. So we have a total hydroxyl group or uh, uh, quantity of 1.5 plus 1.6, which is 3.1, which is greater than the quantity of carboxyl groups, which is 3.0. So the, the function group that is in deficient in this case is a carboxylic acid group. So for finding the F average, we are going to use the carboxylic acid group concentration. So again, F average is twice of sigma Ni Fi over sigma Ni, so 2 times 3.0 divided by the total number of molecules which is 1.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 and that is 6.0 divided by 2.8 which is 2.1429. So PC is 2 over F average, which is 2 over 2.1429, which is 0 0.933. So, so once again, the PC value for non-stoichiometry is higher than that for stoichiometric concentrations. This is because for non-stoichiometric concentrations, only the the molecule that is in deficient quantity is contributing to the 
cross-linking. So the, so the degree of polymerization decreases with non-stoichiometry.